this video tutorial covers the link between TK Solver and Excel. We'll begin by showing you the math model that we're going to be linking. It's a four bar linkage model. It calculates the positions of the components as well as the accelerations and velocities. What we'd like to do is use Excel as a way of communicating with other people. Uh, TK Solver can be used as the number cruncher, the math modeler. Links nicely with Excel. And then you can package the uh, TK Solver model with Excel and share it with others who may not have access to TK Solver. Here's how we do it. First you save your TK Solver model. Then you start Excel. The TK Solver Excel Toolkit is a standard component get uh, installed with Excel. So when you get TK Solver, you automatically have this Excel Toolkit. First step is to choose the model that you're going to be linking. You can either type in a path. Or you can browse to it by clicking uh, on this icon. When you click Next, it shows a listing of all the variables that are uh, saved in the model as inputs. And if you want to have all of those linked, you just leave them all checked. When you click Next, it then shows a listing of all the outputs in the model. You may have models that have hundreds of variables. Some of them are in your intermediate variables, and you don't need them to be shown in Excel, and so you can turn them off by unchecking. This particular TK model has three plots in it. We'll have those appear as well. Uh, we're not going to bring in any tables in this one. I'll we'll talk about uh, linking lists a little later. Finally, you choose whether or not you want the units from the TK model to come across, the comments from the variable sheet. You also decide whether you want the layout to be vertical or horizontal. That is, do you want the outputs to appear below the inputs or beside them? The starting cell address defaults to cell A1, but you can place that anywhere. The formats. Uh, by default, that is not checked. Uh, if you take the formats from the TK Solver model and use them in Excel, it will change the accuracy of the subsequent calculations that you might do in Excel. So, in other words, the values would come across to Excel pre-formatted, and you would lose some accuracy. So we don't recommend that. However, if you know that you're not going to do any subsequent calculations in Excel, uh, then checking that would save you the trouble of doing any additional formatting in Excel. The lock solving. Uh, if you want to manually solve every time you make changes, then you would check this. This is an important feature to use if you've got a TK model that requires uh, a long time to run. So that if you were to make many different changes to inputs, you wouldn't want it to uh, try solving after each one. Instead, you'd make all of your changes and then tell it to solve manually at that point. Click Finish. You see that the variables and the plots from the TK model are brought across. The fonts and colors, um, those are all just defaults. Because you're in Excel at this point, you could change these. So if you wanted to see a wider comment column, you could do that. That might help you avoid uh, wrap of uh, some of these. Now, these are all live fields now, all the inputs. So if I make a change, to any of these, say for example changing the uh, value of the input crank to 11, 
we see that it updated the motion. Change it again. And we get a different motion here. The units also uh, can be changed. So if you click in any unit field, you'll see that the unit conversion feature from TK Solver comes across. Those values uh, do uh, impact any other calculations that might reference them. So for example, if you had another cell over here that referenced this cell, when you make a change to the unit, it would change the reference over here. Uh, TK Solver understands units. Excel really doesn't. So you want to be careful when you do that uh, because these units, they will impact uh, uh, the calculations within these other cells. But uh, the TK model, it knows that any changes are just being made to the display value and not to the uh, calculation that's being done. So uh, you want to be careful with that. Now, if you have everything uh, formatted the way you want, uh, you could save your spreadsheet. I'll just save it here. And we'll just call it uh, bars. You can then use the create package for TK Solver player icon to package the spreadsheet with the TK Solver model as an EXE file. You could then send that to anyone else. They would be able to run it as long as they have something called TK Solver Player installed on their computer. TK Solver Player is a free download from the UTS website. That's www.uts.us.com. That ends this introductory tutorial to the TK Solver Excel Toolkit.